How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back to get another review. But a mystery time, courtesy of some Caleb Mystery Beers. Yes, Mystery Beers, my favorite kind of beers. If you don't know what Mystery Beers are, and that's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, you should know. And if you're watching now, you'll know. Um, basically, you crack open some beers, try to guess what the beer's all about. Not necessarily the exact beer that happens from time to time. Um, but uh, just something fun to do. And what we have here, I mean, it looks very much... Obviously, like a fruit beer. Eh, it could be floral, could be like hibiscus or something like that. But I'm leaning a fruit beer. 12 or 16 ounce can, sticker can, because there's nothing up here um, to show that there's a label on it. Dissipating pretty quickly. I'm assuming some kind of Berliner. Maybe even one of those new kind of like uh, lactose laden ones. I don't know if it's going to get there though, because it doesn't look like it has that half that gumminess, that kind of like a soupy kind of, um, uh, what's what are the smoothie like thing that they do down at like uh, the Answer Navel and that kind of stuff. But uh, sweet lime green mystery tape. And we have a rich kind of, from a distance, boysenberry, raspberry, that kind of a look to it, kind of fruited beer. So let's even get a nose on her. Yeah, I mean, it really is kind of a, like a rich raspberry, soft, subtle tartness. Smells like there's an added sweetness, but I'm not quite sure if that's like a vanilla lactose thing. But she smells slight, slight, uh, 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 slightly tart, um, big fruited component to it, a fresh fruited component to it. And I take that back. There's not that added over the top sweetness, at least not in the nose. So let's dive in. Cheers. Mmm, that's tasty. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, this just tastes like somebody's Raspberry Berliner. Um, I don't think it's a Goza. I'm not getting, I'm getting a minerality to it, but I'm not getting like a, a big, like, salted minerality to it. Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's, it's almost, I'll put it this way. It's almost like a tart, uh, or a Raspberry Saison. In that it's not super tart. Most of the tartness, I feel like, is very in line with what a tart raspberry would taste like. So I'm getting that tartness from there. But the raspberry is kind of nice. It doesn't get super jammy, um, but it's nice and fresh and vibrant. Um, it has a nice kind of earthiness to it a little bit. Like they threw the whole raspberry in there, the seed stems, the whole nine. Um, there's a nice soft, like I said, soft tartness probably coming from both the fruit portion of the show and the actual beer itself. Soft maltiness, a little bit of soft odiness almost in there. Um, the yeast isn't really doing much in there. Pretty clean, pretty um, pretty fresh. Actually, it almost has like a crispness and a cleanness that reminds me of like, you know, a, a lager. Like a bottom fermented beer, to be honest with you. I don't think it's a lager, but that's kind of how it's coming off to me now, to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah. Anyway, it's pretty simple. Um, as far as flavors go, not simple as far as guessing, but this to me is a 5.4% raspberry Berliner Weiss. I'm going to stop there and just call it that basic done and done. Who made this? Um, I don't know. It came from Maine up Maine way. This has very much um, Bissell vibes to it, but it could be from a bunch of different people. I could see um, Allagash doing something like this. Uh, main, main Brewing Company could come out with something like this, but they don't do cans. Um, but yeah, tasty. So what I say? 5.4% Raspberry Berliner. I mean, that's all it is. I don't think there's anything additional to it. Don't think there's any lactose. If you told me there was additional fruit in there, like a little bit of like citrus rind or something like that, fine. I'd be okay with that. Um, definitely isn't barrel aged. Um, if you told me it was a Goza, I'd call it a stretch because while it does have a minerality to it, it doesn't have any kind of salinity to it. Um, da, 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 da. Ooh, 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 ooh. Definitive Brewing Company. Haven't had anything from these guys. Sour Ale with Wild Mane, Blueberry, Raspberry, and Vanilla. So there is Vanilla in there, and the ABV on this would be 6.3. There you go. So I was a whole point off on that one. The Definitive Brewing Company Portals. Uh, so sour ale with wild mane, blueberry, raspberry, vanilla. I'm totally okay with that. I didn't get a huge blueberry thing on there. Um, it was more raspberry than anything else. But splitting hairs at that point. 
I was on the shelf with the with the uh, with the vanilla. I was actually more on the shelf with lactose. Um, I could see vanilla being in there because it, it, it knee jerk and the smell with the taste. There seemed to be something a little bit extra in there, sweet wise, but it didn't really come off. So it was very light handed, which I kind of appreciate. And she drinks a little bit smaller than that six and change. You know, I was more in the low fives. Was it six? Eight? Was it again six eight? Did I say it was? Yeah, six three. So I said five four. So I was point nine off. There you go. But yeah, I really dig this. It's a really tasty beer. Like I said, it's more to me. It's more sour from the fruit than it is from the beer itself. But this is a chugger, man. If this was like sub five percent, I would drink this all day. It's gonna have to drink just this one all today. Um, but yeah, I really dig it. Let's talk about it. Is it one of the better um, kind of fruited Berliners? I mean, it is sick. All the sour ale um, that I've had as of late. Actually, yeah. I dig it. The fruit is very thoughtful. The tartness of the beer is very subtle but meaningful. And it's a really well done, balanced beer for how light it comes off. Even though that fruit, being the star portion of the show, is the most vibrant part, it doesn't over um, overcome or beat down the beer. It actually still is a beer. It's not like a fruit smoothie. Value and availability, I don't know. Don't know how these guys roll as far as their pricing and all that stuff and where they're distributed and leave you with, if you like what, will you like this beer? If you like uh, Berliners, if you like fruited beers, if you like Lambic, if you like those kind of things. I mean, this is about as cool of a line you can tow between, you know, your your Frambois, Lambics into American Sour Ale. It's kind of flirting in that blurring the line thing. It's not sour beer. It's more tart than anything else, but it's tasty. It's eking towards jammy. And it's just a fruit, fruit bomb, if you want to put it that way. Legit fruit bomb, not that juicy stuff. So if you like fruited beers, you'll like this one. There you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a nice little definitive right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.